Well, we're getting ready to head out for two 18-day trips in the New Zealand backcountry. What have we got here, Sean? A lot of cheese, a lot of salami, a bunch of butter, and a bunch of honey and some chocolate, too. Very excited. Paddling gear, tent, sleeping bag, hiking gear, more food, first trip, second trip. How are you feeling? Let's do it. How do you feel, Sean? <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, let's head out there. Okay, Emma, we are way the fuck out there now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. How's the sandfly situation, John? <laughs> oh, God, I choked on my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> All of our stuff, gonna pack it in the boats mm -hmm. and head that way.
Our first transition here, putting away the boats on top of a boat. Got all of our stuff out. Hello, a fantail. And just like that, we are packed up, ready to continue on foot. For our murderous That walk. way. <laughs> okay. How heavy do you think your pack is, Sean? Well, my pack is like this food bag I'm clutching is like 30 pounds. How heavy is yours, Emma? So this is where our little mini portage spit us out below this water feature here. And now we have decided to continue in the water and hopefully we don't run into any more waterfalls. We ended our paddling day at a very windy beach. Then we bushwhacked for about an hour to come to another very beautiful beach. Absolutely amazing. And now we're gonna spend the night here. And we'll take off in the morning. And just gotta head out and get just past that island there. Then we'll be in protected waters again. Should be a great evening and a great day. Slightly still live. Moving around. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Feels good. All right, that was a great lunch break. Back on the water. Goodbye, Coal Island.
prepping up some dinner here. We have got some cheese salami with some onions and tomatoes. And we have Sean's handcrafted stove here made at the South Pole. Ooh. Here it goes. Sizzle, sizzle. Mm -hmm. So even though we're in a lovely hut here, we have noticed there are many sand flies. So we have set up our tent inside the hut for sand fly protection through the night. So our old food strategy was to store excess food in these sad looking cardboard boxes. Sean is now overjoyed <laughs> that we have found a coal bag which he washed out, and this will be our new excess food storage. the fjord down the lake to the car park it's so simple last bite of watermelon until we get back to tiano and another two weeks. fresh off the boat fresh from the sound yeah. sharp enough And here we are, huddled away from all the sand flies, awaiting to take our blood. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, I can really see them. Well, there's they're a lot. There. They're there. There's a lot there. Mm -hmm. And then this lovely view. Amazing days here at Kisby. We are heading out. We've had such a great time. Thank you all so much. We are one week in to our trip here and it has been an awesome start to the trip. We've been really spoiled with incredible weather and just meeting so many amazing people. And now we're heading up Long Sound. So we'll see what the next week brings. Well, we made it to the top of the sound and looks like we have a pretty good weather window. So we are going to do a day trip to Lake Widgeon at the top of the lake. Go check that out before we start our major bushwhack over to Poteri Terry tomorrow.
that is Richard Burn. That's where we're headed tomorrow. One more day of paddling to eat food weight before we put it all on our backs and head up over there. Okay, we got everything. Today's the day. We're setting off on foot. Holy crap, I liked paddling better. It's okay, this is a lot of fun. Oh, it's not too bad. All right, we're going this way. <laughs> the bushwhack ended in a cliff, so we just inflated one boat to paddle a little bit. And Sean is doing a great job paddling. We're pretty well loaded here, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great ride down the river, traveling in style. Mm -hmm. bushwhacking on our second day here and we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel there it is lake po terry terry jean is stuck one more time So I paddled really hard today. I paddled too hard. And so we're about a kilometer away from the hut and I have opted to walk instead of continue to paddle. Cause this feels much better. And Sean has deflated my boat and is paddling my boat. So all I have to do is walk myself to the hut. And now we'll be there quite soon. Our first hut since Preservation Inlet. We made it. Lake Po Terry Terry Hut. Well, we were hoping to spend a rest day here at Lake Po Terry Terry, but because of the weather window, coming in and because of the mosquitoes in the hut last night we actually set up the tent again inside to sleep in we are going to push on go to teal bay hut hopefully get some rest days there and we'll take some rest days there so goodbye to lake poteri terry so sad it's so pretty here and we are headed into the bush on a track mm -hmm. Bay. 
So day five in a row of me not giving any rest to Emma, but we're trying to get down the Wairarahiri River before the rain comes tonight. So looking at all the clouds here, it'll be a much easier descent with uh, a lower flow in the river. Now we're heading down the river. Just emptying out the boats, you know? <laughs> Down the Wairarahiri River. Ooh. Now time to go make some dinner. Well, even though it meant not having a rest day today, I think we're both very glad that we went for it and rafted the river today because the moment we arrived, <laughs> it started raining. It and is now pouring rain very heavily, and the river will definitely be up tomorrow. So I think we're both really happy with it as somewhat noobs to river pack rafting. It was and very pleasant descent. Checking out the Y22 Lodge today. Some very lovely people are catching some power that they will share with us tonight and hopefully teach us how to die for it. The Y22 Lodge. We had a lovely shower earlier and oh. just did our laundry. <laughs> we are ready for the trip to Westies now. Extra bonus trip. Yeah. So 16 days in the backcountry and we're at Y22 Lodge eating ice cream. This is crazy. <laughs> very generous and awesome group of people here. We were very stoked. <laughs> So the nice log crossing we used to have here has just become blown out in the last two years, so looks like we gotta ford the river. The old telegraph wire we're following towards Westies. We're not going to Pisigar Point. Holy crap. That would be crazy. The turn off to Westies Hut, we're almost there. Down the ropes into the cave. Here's Westies Hut. Here goes Emma. So today is day 17, which means we're a little bit more than two weeks into our trip. Oh my goodness. And That's what crazy. a 
second week it was. Really like the heart of our trip. And since we're ahead on time and food, we decided to make a little detour to our favorite hut at Westies. So we're gonna chill here tomorrow, look for cool things in the tide pools, and then start actually hiking out. <laughs> Of course, we don't have the proper tools to get them because <coughs> sand fly. <coughs> <coughs> if you go to grab the power, then it will just grip harder to the rock. So you need a little plastic knife that you can slide under there and, and get it. So the fire is going underneath the wood-fired hot water shower and soon we'll be able to take a nice little shower here in this cave. Pretty sweet. Thank you Deshaun for heating up the water in the shower here. This is so crazy taking a shower in a sea cave at Westie's Hut. Oh my gosh. So nice. Bye, Westies. officially leaving our amazing and magical time here at Y22 Forest Lodge and it's time to start heading to the car park. Oh my goodness, tomorrow. Here we go. Back over the Y River here. Mm -hmm. We can't remember exactly how many cheeses we started with, but Sean is opening the last cheese this is it, folks. <clears throat> Better get to the car park tomorrow. Oh, a crumbly one. I'll let you deal with that. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we made it across the suspension bridge. We managed to have lunch at Wyra Heary Hut. And then Emma goes and injures her back, so now... Don't make me laugh! We're in, in <laughs> and we're going to take a rest day here, even though we're so close to the car park! I'm oh sorry. Goodness. It's okay, I still love you. Showing proper... Oh <laughs> proper hiking pole use. <laughs> How are you doing, honey bunny? It's really, really hurts. Yeah? I'm so sorry. Since I threw my back out yesterday, just putting my backpack on, just total back injury. Very light backpack. Very light backpack. We're almost to the end, but sometimes that happens. And so we're taking it slow today 
and Sean is kind enough to carry all of the stuff, both backpacks. Yep. So on to Port Craig. Last morning, morning what, 21? 20... Day 22? 22. Day 22. One more time, packing up the pack, heading out. Traveled like 200 kilometers this trip, and there it is, the last one. We did Emma, it! Emma, we spent the last three weeks in the wilderness, flew to one of the most remote spots in New Zealand, and we made it out. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great adventure, but we're happy to be done and get some ice cream later. That's going to be very exciting. <laughs> 